with no dimples, no problems, baby. It works, it flies. It kind of helps us out. Yeah. If you take dimples off golf ball, it is trash. Welcome back to another Stephen Casey video. Today, as you guys saw with the thumbnail and title, I went back to uh, college, got my engineering degree, and I filed some balls down. And now, what we have right here, actually Max did, I'm not gonna take credit for this. We got the sandpaper, but I mean, I'm gonna give this, it is literally, there's no dimples that you can feel. This is literally a perfectly smooth golf ball. This one Max did, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10, but uh, it'll work, there's no dimples. It just has some plastic on the sides. I used just the sandpaper and took my time. It literally took me like an hour and a half, but it was worth it. Max used this, um, I don't know what that was used for. We just, we just started messing with a bunch of things. But anyways, what we're gonna do, it's windy out today, so it's kind of like a perfect time to do this. Um, let's hit some dimpleless golf balls at a golf course and see what the effects are. I have some regular ones, I have some dimpleless ones, and let's see, does it help you play better? What does it do? I, <coughs> I saw online they used to sell them, couldn't find any for sale, so uh, I made my own. This one was just a, I think it tore something, and then this was a Callaway Chrome Soft. So yeah, anyways, let's get to the course. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I feel like it's in the summer vines. I'm back in the house just grinding and doing weird things. But uh, as you guys can see, our house, it's literally, we can't even be in it for a week, but it's actually really good for me because I go out of town. I go back to the farm to work on my golf course. So it's like a win-win. I don't have to deal with it getting restained and I get to build a golf course. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, you've been an absolute legend. Just see if we can't slap some likes on this video. You already know the vibes. Hit the subscribe button. But yeah, me and Bubs are going to go out to the course. Three, two, one. Bink. Anyways, we have made it to the range. That was a pretty cool transition, I know. But we have this ball, which as you guys can see, there's very limited, di like, I mean, there's it's pretty good. I'm not gonna cap. And then we have Max's golf ball. <laughs> That's tough, but there's no dimples on it. I'll give him that, but it's definitely odd shaped. Um, he, if anything, he made way bigger dimples, as you guys can see. His drilling job is not very good. So this one's really one that you're, we're gonna wanna watch. But me and Bubby just gonna play scramble. This hole, then we're gonna play the par three. Um, there's a little bit of a breeze. And then on the third hole, we're gonna hit regular balls and see how they compete uh, i'm gonna start with the driver as you guys know this is 313 yard drivable par four this is the one that is actually good no dimples and we'll see how it flies i'm ripping into this one it probably rolled to about as far as my usually driver go but off the first shot that thing took a literally a direct turn straight to the ground and it had a slice which is something i usually don't play so interesting it is a crosswind though but that is very interesting that flew it literally took a direct d dive straight down yeah because the ball stays in the air because a backspin the wind catches it and it goes bink but it doesn't do that when there's no dimples on it you feel yeah. but it rolled just it will roll it'll definitely i think what it'll help do it'll make the ball fly straighter yeah because since it'll minimize wind catching it won't go right or left yeah maybe maybe we'll see physics 101 with bubby That's straight. They actually flew pretty well. Just over the bunker and we're gonna be in the fairway. After the first shot, uh, mine did a direct turn which had zero dimples. That one has, I don't know, it's not sanded very well, but mine literally just dove to the ground and rolled about 50 yards. So honestly, I can't tell off the first. It's gonna be interesting with the iron. All right, mine ran just about as far as it usually would, but I was not able to control is what I'm trying to say. The dimples help the ball spin, and no dimples, no spin. Can't blame that one on the dimples. No, that was yeah, just... That's just, <laughs> just not hit well. It was a poorly struck golf ball. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to throw this on the green to see if it does literally anything. Go. the hole okay so it doesn't spin i just i played that and it rolled out that was a really good shot <laughs> if it was a regular ball that probably would have spun stopped sh short of the green but no dimples no problems baby i'm gonna start patenting these and start making them in my basement and selling them all right turns out my ball literally almost went in um landed right over here rolled right in front of the hole and i almost made it but yeah so far, there's really not much of a difference other than it rolls a lot further and the wind might affect it just a little bit more. I'm gonna tap mine in. Nice. Thank you. Uh, birdie off the first with a dimpleless golf ball. Hey, 
it works, it flies. I don't know how to explain it. Let's play a couple more holes and see what we can tell. It kind of helps us out. Yeah, it helps someone because you don't have to land it. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how Bubby did it, but he just stole this cart. There's not even a key in it. Just freaking that. Wired it up and we're good to go. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. All right, here we go. Hole number two of the day. That's a flag because they have the men's league and they want to see who gets close to the pin and I'm about to beat it. But as you guys know, it's 149 yard par three. Do you want to switch balls or do you want? I'll hit whichever one. It don't matter. I want to I wanna keep using this one because I... Yeah, you use that one because you hit a good approach shot last time. I, right. like, I feel like it's good luck. I have an eight iron. I'm going to lay off with just a hair. I don't know if it'll play a draw. That's the thing. That could actually play really well. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that was not the ball's fault. Can't even blame it on the ball on that one. Me and Bubby have had two shots that were not the ball's fault, but they did happen. We got Bubby with probably a P wedge. Nine iron. Okay. A little choke down nine iron. The wind's in the back, so choke down hard on this one, but Bubby to save the day. Oh, it just flies dead straight for you. You hit that way too hard. Huh? Bubby, that literally went a mile long. I went so far long. I told you, I told you to hit it very light. I hit that actually, yeah. Now that I see the yardage right there, I hit it good, 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 good direction though. Yeah, good direction, just not, not very good result. Results. We both went long. Bubby went, I think, a lot longer <laughs> somehow. But uh, Are you down to one ball now? we might be alternate shot coming soon. Here we go. Here's where my ball has landed. Pin right over there. Got to get it up and down. Bubby lost the other dimpleless golf ball. So. <laughs> Why would you trust me with that? I, I'm not. Not anymore. Anyways, on the next hole, what we're going to do, we're just going to have, he's going to play a regular ball. I'm going to play this ball, and we're going to see if there's really any difference. But, Bubby, I'll give you a thumbs up for that one. All right, here we go, guy. Get there. I have a putt that was there's really no winning on the screen because it goes straight down all right there was no check in that um that was that was terrible but i got a long par putt i'll see if i can't drain of this one that looks pretty good uh. still a little meat left on that bone oh your knees God. are shaking yeah. what? <laughs> what is didn't happen. Let's get, let's get the next hole. What was that effort? I, I don't know. You, you had my knees actually shaking. <laughs> uh, that was a double bogey. I'm gonna blame this one on Bubby. He got in my head. lost one of my balls that I took like hours to spin. To make. <laughs> hours. Literally, I was sawing away at that sun bug, me and Mac. All right, here we go. Hole number three of the day. 405 yard par four. This is dog leg right. As you guys can see, green's right over there. Bubby's gonna be using a Pro V1. It's gonna be kind of like a little match and see who wins. You're gonna be, he's gonna be using a Callaway 2 bright orange for some reason. Um, I guess it's a good comparison, but we'll see. This is where you can, we'll be able to tell. I, I wanna see if my ball moves. The last driver, it played a bit of a slice, which I'm gonna say that's user air. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna rip away at this one. Don't lose this one. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out right now. Is it the golf ball? This is... <laughs> what do you mean is it the golf ball? That thing started on straight right, my guy. That pisses me off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if it's, if it's me or the ball. Oh, it's the ball. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. I'm going to see if I can't find that ball, but for right now, I'm going to have to take a drop. So, the dimpleless, I guess it just plays my weakness. As you guys saw, that is a dead straight ball flight, and I don't know what the dimpleless... I don't know. I must have misshaped it, because that thing, all it did was go right. Keep fading. Should be just on the left side, Ross. Did you find it? No. Here we go, here we go. He's about to resurface. There he is. Uh, we just spent like five minutes trying to find it. Did you find any other dimpless balls in there? No, no I some they all got ones. dimples. Ain't gonna do it, is it? No, here's, here's the issue right now. The balls are trash. They did not work. They all flew straight down. We got through two holes. I say we just have a match for the next two. A two hole match? <laughs> Fine, I'm done. This hole and then the par five? Yeah, I don't know what else to do. I mean, we played two holes with the dimpleless, the dimple golf ball. We came out with a birdie and a double because I'm the only one that finished the last hole. 
and now we're just gonna play with the regular golf balls, see how it compares, see if we can really tell a difference. I obviously can. It played a slice and it never checked. So we're just gonna play, we're just gonna play two holes. That was probably super confusing, but we're just gonna compare the golf compare the golf balls. Honestly, if you take dimples off a golf ball, it is trash. Do not recommend. Absolute no bueno. They don't fly straight. As you see, they cause a slice with a draw swing. They don't check and they don't roll pure. They but they do roll a lot. I'll get at that. But anyways, let's just finish this out, me and Bubby. Scrambling, see 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 how see how it compares. Alright, uh, we're just gonna take my ball. Bubby's went off to the left, but we have just inside of a hundred. Yeah, we couldn't find mine. It literally disappeared. But no, Bad. we have a little inside of a hundred. It's you fine. Have you seen Field of Dreams? Yeah. Have you actually? No. Yes, I have. You ever seen Field of Dreams like the people walking in a cornfield? That's what my ball did. She gone. He gone. That'll play. That should be pretty good. What'd you hit? 60. I'm stepping up and hitting, bro. I, I, I overcame it. Have you seen how quick no, I'm hitting no, the ball? At the range? I like it. Alright, I'm gonna play 60 as well. See what we can do. Could be putting as well. Two good shots. Um, One of those would be a putt. Yeah. It, it, the difference between the golf balls is insane. I understand. <laughs> why there's dimples on golf balls now i figured it out and i will never ever go down that dark path of a dimpleless golf ball ever again i'll tell you that all right that's where bubby went we're gonna be end up taking mine just because it's a little bit flatter and we don't have to go as over so much rough let's see what bubs can do not bad well i definitely got it there yeah it wasn't even as short you trusted you trusted that putt i'll tell you that Well, neither of those are gimmies. We got we got to grind for our par. Dude, what is going on with? It's because there's green grass. That has to be the only thing that's going it's on. Problem. That that is what is wrong with today. There's grass on a golf course. No, it's green. Huh? It's green grass. Why wouldn't you want green grass? Just tap it in. Ooh. Ah, saved the par right there. We needed that, but uh. So so far, well, even though the scores don't reflect it, dimpled golf balls for the win. Yeah, no, the dimple golf balls, they are they, they they are winning this by a mile. Even though we made a birdie, we're probably going to make an eagle on this hole, but do not recommend that. It could have its benefits. It, I mean, it could have its benefits. If you hit a big slice, maybe play dimpless golf balls. That's where the that's where the weird thing started happening. I played a draw, as you guys saw, <laughs> and it went right. So well, it because you don't you know why, right? It was not perfectly circle. No, 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 because to hit a draw, you have to swing in to out to right field. And it makes it, you, so it starts right, spin brings it back. No dimples, it doesn't catch the air, so it just stays out to the right. Ah, that actually makes sense. It literally just goes straight. I, that, hey, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Hole number four of the day. It's a par five, kind of a shortest one. It's 450, 460 yards. As you guys can see, the green's right up there. We'll see if we can't hit some shots. Went to the back, so there should be some balls being hammered. I'm going to step on this joint. I like it. All right, all right, en enough of that, Bubs. I see Ronaldo who? No, it's just Bubby. <laughs> is that Messi? Is that Ronaldo? Is that Neymar? Is that James? Is that Bale? No, it's just, no, it's just Bubby. Yeah, it's just Bubby. <laughs> Buddy's nice. All right, here we go. Did it get through? I have no idea. Nick the tree. I couldn't see. I just ran. I thought it got through. Oh, so the trees play soccer now. They're kicking my balls, eh? Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, uh, Bubby, I'm just going to put this in the fairway. I like that idea. If you don't hit the fairway, Steve, you ain't got the ball to blame no more. True. Good ball. Right down the left-hand side. That is where you always want to go. You want to stay on the left side on this hole because the right side is like mountains. You don't want to mess with them some bucks. All right, Bubby came here. He got lucky and he hit the trees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It had a mean slice on it and it kicked it straight. Let's keep it real for the folks. I went through a tree and you're only 15 yards ahead of me. Hey. Bubby, that's like 20. All right, um, let's make my way to my ball. This is the longest drive I've had on this hole so far, but we have about 130, 120 yards to the pin. I'm going to see if I can't throw a little dartage in there, Bubby. Dartage? You want to go first or you want me to go first? I want to go first because I hate looking at bad swings. You hate looking at what? Bad golf swings. Handsome men? <laughs> well, that looks pretty good if that gets up oh i forgot to zoom in well not much to zoom into that's like 25 yards short Bobby. <laughs> i don't know 
know what I was doing. I tried to play a nipper from 130 with a 54 degree. That's just one of those Steven moments where you're just like, what, what is he doing, you know? But hey, I'd still make a birdie solo. Let's, let's be honest. Bubby golf, see what he can do. Long. How? Sweet. What'd you hit? I hit 54. Bubby, I nipped it. I nipped it. It's too strong for this course. Go ahead, put, take my club. It's all right, I don't care. <laughs> Man takes every one of my clubs anyways. We're short, we can still make a birdie, but it has a 130 yard shot and we're not even on the green. We're gonna be end up taking Bubby's. Mine was covered by the bunker, so that's a no-go, but we can still get this up and out for a birdie. And that it is not. That might be off the green. <laughs> just... Distance, distance control ain't really my thing today. Who, who really comes out here though to hit balls close to the hole? I mean, uh, come on. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I try really hard to hit it close to the hole. Does <laughs> it happen? No. <laughs> you did the exact same thing as me. What are you doing? You, you can see from my shot, it's fast. Bubby, do you think I meant to go long? <laughs> you, what are you even recording? The sky? We got a long birdie putt. This this was some of the, I mean, this was not good golf. I'll tell you that. You don't have to come over here because I'm gonna make this fun. All right, this is for our birdie. This would be good. You make one birdie with the dimplest ball, one birdie with the real golf ball. How about you do neither? I, you still, I still have to putt. Oh yeah. Don't you worry. Like that matters, Bubby. Let's be honest. Let's see what Bubby can do. This would for us to finish it even par. And that we do. Oh, not oh, do it. How did it not go in? I don't know. Here we go. I like that new putter, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah. That new putter. I got 62s in my back pocket all day. All right. After that, we played two holes with the Dimplest golf ball. Two holes without. The verdict for me is. The dimplest ball, it literally, you cannot control it. Unless you play a dead straight ball fight every time, it is literally useless because it, it goes in every direction. It rolls out a little bit too much. You can't control the spin. I don't know. For certain situations, it would be, it'd be useful. But for 90% of the time, <laughs> I'm acting like you guys would ever try this. No. But <laughs> this is what I'm going to stick to. There's no going to be Steven playing with a dimplest golf ball in the future that was that was horrendous we lost both of them if that tells you anything we didn't lose any of our actual golf balls anyways i hope you guys enjoy we will catch the next one actually i'll catch you at the farm boys peace